All right, this is uh, the explanation of uh, direct backs and faces. It's an old Marlowe effect from uh, early Marlowe. And uh, <coughs> my mentor, Alan Ackerman, has some nice handlings in, as well, which I will show in other videos. But in this one, this is going to be uh, <coughs> my own little variation of uh, Michael Skinner's uh, version of direct, direct uh, all backs, direct all backs and all faces. And um, you start off... Your setup is uh, you want to have, <clears throat> I usually put two cards, two X cards, and then the four aces. And you'll see why I use that in a moment. <clears throat> I start off, I take the cards out of the box, and I say, uh, I bought a pack of cards. You know, I buy so many cards, but I happen to get a uh, defective deck that I bought the other day. And uh, this is it right here. And you say something like, I call deck support, and I try to explain them. So what you're doing is you're showing all the backs. Then as you square up, you're going to do a half pass. Uh, you should do this where you're standing so the audience is looking down because you're going to tilt down. You're going to make a half pass on all the cards under the top card, which will be like this. Okay, You can kind of use gravity <clears throat> Okay, to just pull down here. And you do that as you square up, as you're squaring up the deck. You're then going to turn over and you say, I have a defective deck because uh, there's no faces. Uh, they misprint them. There's all backs on both sides. Now you're going to do the Francis Carlyle's uh, paddle move with cards. And your thumb's going to go under this. As you turn, you're going to flip this up. So what that will look like is that. Now you're going to turn this over. After you show all backs, you're going to turn this over. You're then going to come up and spread like this. So it's like everywhere there's all backs. Then you come down. As you square up, you're going to do a side steal. Okay, the card. You can do any kind of color change you want. Uh, you just side steal. The way you do that is you push with these three fingers, the bottommost card, and you steal off the one card. And that is done under action of uh, squaring. And once you've gotten it stolen into the palm, you want to have a high arc on your palm. You then you want to relax your hand, you want to wave like this, and you want to do a color change. Now you're going to show. So when I called deck support, they told me I have to make all the faces. I just have to uh, use my magic, make all faces. Now, as you spread, you want to be careful not to show this card. What I sometimes do is I'll do like a, a Greek break here on two cards. Then I can do a really clean display like that for a second. And then very carefully spread over. You don't have to do that. If you don't want to, you can just uh, pull over a double, but this is a nice little touch, I think, to add to it. Now, as after you do that, you kind of make it a little messy so that it gives you a reason to square up. As you square up, you're going to do the half pass with the whole deck, except for the top two cards. Okay, you want to kind of tilt down. And I usually use this excuse of rubbing here and squaring to uh, cover that. You're now going to flip it over, and you're going to say, look, there's faces everywhere and then you flip it over this way then you come up and show it this way so it looks like everywhere is faces now as you come down and you uh, square you're going to do side steal off the one card okay doing the color change again you then go into uh, you can do the same thing you did again with the Greek break and push you gotta be careful here I usually like to uh, I like to do that, then I can come back and show cleanly like this. Okay. Now at this point, what I do is uh, I reach under here, and I, as I riffle the cards, I perform a, a pass, kind of half pass and pass, as I'm just going like this, as I'm dribbling the cards. Now what you have to do is uh, just cut with three cards, just cut, what you're doing is you're cutting uh, one of those aces to the bottom. Then I make a, either a pressure fan or a fan like this. And when you make a fan like this, it will give it the illusion like all the cards. It's the, uh, the, blank, the blank fan, right? Because you have the ace, you're hiding the pips. So I say, there's one problem, I got all the backs, but now all the faces are gone. This is just something I added to it. And then uh, as you spread, you you just slip this one, Ace of Clubs, into the middle. As you show, look, there's all the backs. And then you snap or wind up the deck or do any magical gesture. 
then you make a pressure fan to reveal all the cards. So this is a nice opening effect. So enjoy that. If you'd like to see more advanced magic than this, head on over to promagicart.com. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share, and have a magical day. Hi, Darren Martino here, and welcome to Pro Magic Art. And this is a uh, online master magic course, and this is for anyone, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or an advanced magician. And what it is is it's um, all of my original creations and uh, my system called the Cerulean System. Um, over 35 years in the art of magic. Um, I have the beginner level for five dollars a month you can get access to um, over 150 videos plus every month there's new videos added and that is for beginners to help you get started that's the bronze level okay five dollars a month then I have the platinum level the platinum level you get access to over 400 magic videos and tutorials and this is for anyone whether you're beginner intermediate or advanced magician Okay, then I have the gold level. The gold level is uh, $97 for the first year, and you get access to uh, over 400 uh, magic videos and tutorials in there. Now I have the new diamond level. The Cerulean System diamond level is $27 a month, and you get access to over 500 plus of magic videos and tutorials plus videos added every month in all of the le in all of the levels there's videos added every month and tutorials so join today to become a master magician